it's going to be a day. We, we don't know. We have no clue how many kids coming in, but uh, help us out giving them high fives and other guys that are good and stuff like that. You know, most kids here are pretty good in English. I mean, they have English in school from, from, from grade one, so they'll they'll be fine. Most of them. Some some won't understand you. Just ask around, ask for somebody to translate. Them. Just have fun. It's going to be an enjoyable morning. This. I look, we really look forward to you guys to come in. It, it means a lot for the program. And it, Means a lot for the, for the club to have Jacob back. Obviously, we have him back all the time. You know, he comes to one workout, but having him back with the team means a lot. Okay, that makes us proud. So, thank you for coming. <laughs> back and forth. Back and forth, guys. Back and forth. Good job. Try to stay in your stance. Get your butt down. Yep. Good job. Hey, today, you know, it was a lot of fun um, being with the kids. I um, really enjoyed it. You know, it's hard. There's a language barrier, but um, we were able to get over that and really help the kids with, you know, basketball skills. And, and I think they all really enjoy the game, which was a lot of fun. Nice. Very nice. Uh, you My initial takeaway um, with the coaching here, very skilled. Um, you know, when you think European basketball, you think very skilled. Um, you know, we saw actually quite a few um, girl players that were actually some of the best in the camp with their footwork and their ball handling and all sorts of stuff. So it was really, it was really fun to see that. Um, enjoyed coaching them a lot. Eyes up, guys. Try to keep your eyes up. Okay? Good. Um, you know, there was, I learned quite a bit uh, about the Danish culture, being with the kids. Um, I think it's when you're hands-on with them. I think that's when you really start to, you know, learn more. Um, you know, it was hard to kind of communicate, but uh, we had their moms and dads around us, so we were able to translate with them. They understood English, so that was a lot of fun. And um, we were able to kind of inter interact on, you know, Maybe not a language-based level, but I think um, interacting through movements and gestures, so that was a lot of fun. Enjoy that. Good job, Kobe. Good job, Kobe. Take it up. Defense. Guard him. Pass and screen. Pass and screen. Pass and screen. Roll. Roll the hoop. Roll the hoop. Go to the ball. Screen. Roll, roll the hoop. Good layup. Finish. Finish the play. Oh. Uh, this morning when we came here to, to this gym, I didn't really know what to expect. I was surprised that they even knew English. It was an amazing experience just to meet these kids and get to see they're very skilled. They're taught at a young age how to play. They play the right way and they play hard and they play together. And I'm re I really, I really enjoyed. Uh, coach him up to Pass it out, pass it out. Cut to the hoop, cut to the hoop. Oh, good catch. Uh, I learned that they're they're very they're very smart. They they think everything they do, they they think the game of basketball, they think they're sm they learn English. I just I can't get over it. They surprise me every time I talk to somebody. Everyone's just just so developed and at a young age and they're just taught they're taught very well. Jacob, Jakob here. He's gonna start with the ball. Jacob's gonna pass the ball to coach and he's just gonna jog over here to the roll strong face. We put the ball on the chair so it forces him to sit down. Jacob is just gonna get here, quick stop, and let's go through the progression. Okay? Yep. It's probably the small ones for these guys, though. Definitely. Go ahead. More, Ted, more. More. 